So if you want to run a a modern bedrock edition of Minecraft on server, um, they have Microsoft in concert with Mojang has started to limit some of the the server options that you have. Um, but you can run that on Windows or you can run that on Linux. So I originally started my server on Windows and just to play around the house. And I was like, well, if my kid wants to start to get into some of the more advanced features, then he's going to have to run the server on the same machine he's trying to play on. And it's mm. an old eight-year-old laptop. Yeah, you don't want to push so, it. Yeah. So I didn't want to put the stress on the machine, but while I was digging around, I found so foxynotail.com forward slash M C B E play. So it's foxynotail.com. And then if you look at the initials, it's Minecraft Bedrock Edition Play. Um, they have a really cool skin overlay for Bedrock Edition server that actually gives you all kinds of menu options. It can open mm -hmm. up your whitelist. You can set server preferences. It actually does snapshots of your server. So if you want to roll back to a, a, a certain day or week or someone comes in and blows all your stuff up, you actually have archive backups in there. I thought that was pretty cool if you're running the Windows version. I wanted to take my Mac and somehow run it on there. So we, I think we had talked on the show a while ago um, about, you know, you can run it in a Docker container. Mm -hmm. Some people have built that out. Um, what I found was if I run it on Ubuntu server, I can get up to 10 people as long as Ubuntu doesn't have a UI running. I can get about 10 people with dedicating like two gig of RAM to it and it runs extremely well. 